In today's video, we're going to look at flame emission spectroscopy, which is sometimes called flame photometry. The underlying idea is the same as the more simple flame test, namely that when metal ions are heated, they emit light. And the wavelengths of that light, and so the color that you can see, are specific to the particular metal ion that you're heating. If you remember, in the flame test, we just heat the metal over a Bunsen burner flame and see what color the flame turns. This works pretty well as a quick test, but it runs into problems if you're comparing metals that have similar colors, or if your sample contains multiple metals and so all the colors get mixed. Flame emission spectroscopy, though, overcomes these problems by using a spectroscope which can detect the individual wavelengths of light that are emitted. And importantly, every different metal ion produces a different pattern of wavelengths, and so has a unique line spectrum that we can use to identify that metal. Another benefit of spectroscopy is that the intensity of the lines on the spectrum, so whether they're dull or very bright, indicates the concentration of the ion. So we can use it to find the concentrations of particular ions in a solution. The main advantage of flame emission spectroscopy, though, is that if a sample contains multiple different metal ions, then the line spectrum will show the lines for all of them. For example, if we mixed metal ion A, which has this line spectrum, with ion B, which has this one, and we ran the combined sample through the spectroscope, then we'd get this spectrum, which is basically the line spectra for the ions A and B combined, and so contains all of the wavelengths of both of them. This might seem like a bit of a mess, but by comparing the line spectrum of an unknown sample to lots of standard line spectra for known metal ions, scientists or sometimes computer programs, can identify the ions that are in the unknown sample. And as we said earlier, they can also calculate the concentrations of each ion at the same time. So if you were asked to do this in your exams, you would just look for which metal ions have the same lines as the unknown sample does. And those would be the ions that are present in the unknown sample. So in this case, you can see that that would be these top two metal ions, because their lines are also shown in the line spectra of the unknown sample. Now, if we take a step back, this comparison of the flame test versus flame emission spectroscopy is a good case study for the differences between manual tests, which are often basic and cheap, versus instrumental methods which use expensive machines, but often give better results. The three main benefits of instrumental methods are that they're very accurate, very sensitive, because they can detect even tiny amounts of a substance, and very fast, because they can usually be automated, so don't need a human being doing stuff constantly. Anyway, that's everything for this video, so hope that it all made sense, and we'll see you again soon.